Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lem, if you're new here. On my channel, I do makeup tutorials, wigs, and natural hairstyle. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell button so anytime I post a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Um, today I'll be doing another makeup tutorial, like somebody requested an orange eye look. I'll be trying it today. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, then continue watching. So to start, I'll go ahead and prep my face. I'll be going in with my um, moisturizer. This is the one I'm using. So I'll just apply a generous amount onto my face. Because I always like to, I always really like my face to be really, really moisturized before I start applying any product on it. After that, I'll be going in with my primer. The primer I'm using, um, this is the primer I'm using, it's a hydrating primer. I'll get like two pumps of that. So for the foundation that I'll be using today is the, the Ellie Girl foundation. It's, I'll be trying it for the very first time. I, I got this online, but I don't know if this will fit my skin tone. So if it doesn't fit, I'll be mixing this with another foundation. So I'll go ahead and try it on my face to see if it fits. If not, I'll be mixing it with another shade. No. Like this is too light. So I'll go ahead and mix that with the Juvia's Place foundation in this shade Lagos. This is a little bit darker. So I'll be mixing the two together. Like that's that's the problem that I always have buying um, foundation online because I don't know I hardly get my shade like <sighs> but anyways I'll go ahead and mix the two okay guys to mix the two I'll just apply a little bit of the the Javier's Place foundation it's really um, dark then I'll just add this and with my brush I'll just use it to mix it together then before applying that on my face I think this gives me a perfect shade Okay, next what I'll do is I'll take my sponge, I'll go ahead and wet it and squeeze out all the water from it for it to be damp. You just need your sponge to be damp. After that, I'll just use it now to blend the foundation. The next I'll be going in with my concealer. The concealer I'm using is uh, from Juvia's Place. Like, I love this concealer so much. I don't know why but it's so nice this is what i'll be using in the shade 11 i'll just go ahead and apply just a little bit like you want to apply your concealer on the areas where light normally reflects on so still with my sponge, I'm going to use the same side I used for the for the foundation to blend it. So after that, after you apply foundation, your face just becomes flat. So what you do with the concealer and the, the contour is bringing back the dimensions into your face. As for the concealer, you're bringing back the light, the area where light normally reflects on your face. Then for the contour, you're going to apply that on the, uh, the darker part of your face. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of that here. Then onto my forehead to bring back that shadow the bridge of my nose 
like I just apply a little bit there and there. The next, I will just go ahead with a, the other side of the, the sponge and just blend that. Then now with the side that I use for the concealer, I'll use it to blend the, the line, this line, so you don't have harsh line on your face. So I'll just use that to blend the line like that. So now, now I'm done with my wet product, I'm going to let my face, I'll just leave my face like that and I'll go ahead and do my, my eyes. Okay, first I'll start, I'll use my spoolie to brush up my eyebrows. Like if you're a beginner, I would strongly advise that you start with your brows, with your eyes, before going to your foundation and everything. Because after applying your eyes, maybe you have drops of the shadow on my face, so I'll have to blend that out. That's the reason why I didn't set my face. So if, if you're just starting, what you want to do is go ahead and do your eyes first. It will make, um, it will make everything easy for you. After doing that, I'll go in with my pencil and you want to make sure your pencil is sharp to just uh, draw hair like strokes in the area where, on the areas where I don't have uh, that much hair with light strokes, like gently filling that in. Then again with my spoolie, I'll just brush up, brush that up like that. Okay guys, after that I'll be going in with my uh, concealer. I'm still going in with the same concealer that I used before. And with my concealer brush, I'll just get a little bit like that. And just start concealing my brush. I'll just go in with my sponge again and just blend that out. Okay guys, that will be all for the brows. Then the next step will be um, for the eyeshadow. First of all, I'll be going in with this eyeshadow primer. I'll go ahead and apply a little bit of that. And another thing, I'll be using a tape to serve as a guide like it is um it is very very convenient if you're starting out to so use a tape because it really helps to make your line straight so after that applying that i'll just go ahead and blend the primer for start i'll be going in with the gvs place nomad palette I'll be using this dark brown shade. With that, I'll be going in with a smaller brush because I want kind of a line. I want to make a line with this eyeshadow. So next, I'll be using a small head brush and just blend the edges of the line. Next, into the Warriors 2 palette, I'm going in with this brown shade and just continue blending the edges of the line. I'll go in again with this and just apply it again on the line because I want the line pronounced.
Okay, next I'm going to get a Q-tip and a makeup remover. And just wet that a little bit. And use that for the crease to clean everything up. Okay, next I'll be going in with this um, eye primer. I'll just put a little bit at the back of my hand and with a brush like this flat I'm just going to grab a little bit I'm going to use that to cut the crease Okay guys, to set that, I'll be using this neon eyeshadow, so I'll just gently tap that onto it. Okay guys, after setting that, I'm going to use this with the brush on this one, for my eyeliner. Then I'll just go ahead and take this off and continue with the new eyeliner. Then with the black eyeshadow, I'm going to use the black eyeshadow to set the, the eyeliner. I'm going to use a small brush like this one and take a little bit of the eyeshadow. Now I'll go in with my mascara. Okay guys, after I'm done with my with my eyeshadow, so to set my under eye, I'm just going to be using this brush and just like apply the, a little bit of the powder like this, dust off the excess and just press that under my eye like that. And then I'll just use this brush to just brush off my face of any drops of products in the areas where I don't want to. Guys, to give me some warm, I'm just going to use my bronzer. This is the one I'm using. I'll just take a little bit and just apply that to my cheek. Okay. 
for my highlight i'll be using the juvia's place um powder highlight in the shade uh, kalahari i'll go in with a little bit like this highlight um powder is really really pigmented so i'm just using the just a little bit of this with my uh, fan brush just going to apply that then for my brush I'll be going into this palette and using this shape I need to get this shape My lips are beginning in with this pencil is from Lacombe. And I'll just go ahead and align my lips. After lining my lips, I'm going to go in with this lip gloss. I want it a little bit lighter. I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place um, lip gloss. To set my face, I'm going in with the NYX, the NYX um, matte finish, and then with a clean sponge, I'm just going to blend that with my skin. Hey lovelies that was it for today's video if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up please let me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this makeup look and if you want me to do more makeup looks like this one just let me know in the comment section what color you want me to do next and i will do it for you and if you like videos like this one go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down there and turn on that bell button at the corner so anytime i post a new video you will miss out. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.